A Fox 10 News investigation is getting more results. Yeah, the Mobile County District Attorney's Office announcing today that it's working on new procedures that would stop some repeat offenders from bonding out of jail. Fox 10 News reporter Andrew Perez has been exposing this problem for more than a year now. Andrew, what happened today? Well, Bob Laniz, it didn't take long for the DA's office to get in touch with me this morning after I profiled repeat offender Castelio Vaughn the same very time last night. This guy is well known to police and bonding companies for that matter. His latest run-in with the law happened last week and all he spent was about less than an hour at Metro. So once again, I started looking for answers. Today I got some. 31 Were you shooting to kill them? A familiar face on Fox 10 News, Castelio Vaughn is in for some more legal troubles. Yesterday we found he had been booked into Metro Jail again and released 40 minutes later, but he was already out on bond, so the DA's office is now filing to have it revoked. He skated the system by knowing there was, or finding out there was a warrant outstanding for his arrest and turning himself in. Therefore, my office wasn't notified for us to call the judge to place a hold on him. We caught up with Mobile County District Attorney Ashley Rich about our story. She said her office met with judges this morning to try and figure out how to stop things like this from happening. Someone missed his history in the jail, so officials say they're brainstorming. We're going to put a procedure in place where when the officer comes down to sign the original warrant, then we're going to um, go ahead and file a motion to have a hold placed on the defendant at that time. There's an issue as to how procedurally we can do that because he technically hasn't been arrested on a warrant. The jail doesn't have the warrant at that point. So we're working through the, the um, uh, the weeds on this one. You constantly see the same people over and over. Vaughn, who's got quite the history already, was out on bond for robbery. He was even shot by a homeowner then. Sunday, he turned himself in for allegedly shooting into a woman's car. 40 minutes later, he walked right back out on a preset bond. It's a situation similar to this that we've seen in the past. Now, it's up to a judge to decide whether or not that bond will actually be revoked. We're trying to make sure that in the future, when a defendant turns himself in, that we have a procedure in place. Now, Rich says normally an arresting officer will be the one to alert the DA's office to hold a repeat offender. So this was a little bit of a different case, but still an issue. Vaughn has an arraignment on his most recent charge later this month. We're going to let you know what final changes are made to booking procedures. Several questions.